Welcome to the Voices for Voices TV show and podcast. Voices for Voices is the number one ranked podcast and TV show where people turn to for expert mental health, recovery, and career advancement intelligence. Our Voices for Voices show is all about teaching you insanely actionable techniques to help you prosper, grow yourself and self-worth, and personal brand. So if you are a high achiever or someone who wants more out of life, whether mentally, physically, or spiritually, please make sure to subscribe to our TV show and podcast right now. As you can see, the Voices for Voices show publishes episodes that focus on case studies, real life examples, actionable tips, and in the trenches reports and interviews from subscribers just like you. So if that sounds like something that could help you grow personally or professionally, then why don't you join me in our organization by subscribing so we can uh, help as many people as, as possible. So today's show, uh, we have quite a few topics to, to uh, talk about. Uh, it's exciting as, as an organization uh, when we do planning. So we plan for different events, uh, different, uh, uh, different milestones that we, we, we want, want to reach. And sometimes that takes time. And one of those is being uh, recognized by the United States Patent and Trade Office uh, as having Voices for Voices being a, a registered mark, which means we're able to put the R in the circle around it after Voices for Voices. Uh, and so that does a couple of, of things. Uh, one, it helps us uh, become more uh, uh, more legit, for, for lack of a better way of uh, speaking about things, because it does cost a, a bit of money to, to do, and if we're not really bought into an organization, uh, we, we really wouldn't go forward with that. So uh, this is something that took almost two years from the inception of filling out the application, working with attorneys, going back and forth with the government attorneys, um, and, and so just yesterday, actually, we, uh, we, we got that uh, actual designation. Uh, and so we uh, are thrilled to be able to uh, have this. And so what else it does besides being, uh, you know, having an organization uh, be more legit, more firm, you know, I talk about uh, having Voices for Voices being you know, a hundred year organization and wanting to be around, not be a fly-by-night kind of organization. Um, and one of the ways that this particular designation helps is with uh, search rankings. So if you are to go to, to Google or, or Bing and or, uh, other uh, search engines and, and, and type Voices for Voices, uh, we, uh, as an organization, our information, so our website, our content, should start populating much higher than what it ha had been. Uh, and that's a little bit of a misnomer uh, that I had, had to learn many years back uh, teaching uh, at Walsh University uh, with uh, digital marketing is just because you may have a, a brand that is your name, uh, your organization name, and you have content out on, on the net, whether you know, through social media, uh, whether it is uh, an interview you, you did, a podcast, uh, just because you have that does not mean that when you or another individual goes to search for the name of your organization, the name of you, does not mean that that is automatically going to rise to, to the top. And as we know, uh, very few of us scroll past page one of search results. So it is very important as an organization, as an individual growing a personal brand to have uh, your and, and ours, in, in this case, our Voices for Voices material to come up as, as high as possible uh, so we don't have to rely on individuals scrolling uh, you know, down two, three, four, five, ten, ten pages. Uh, so that is, 
one of the, the, the key, key things, and that's something that uh, it's hard to really quantify. I mean, you can quantify donations and, and sales that way, uh, but it's one of those things that you really won't be able to measure that except over time as more visits to the website, more uh, followers, more people having an interest in, in engaging with uh, you and your organization. Uh, so that is, uh, that is something that was uh, big for us. And, uh, and so Catherine Kelly Vidal is the director of the United States Patent and Trade Office. So she signed off uh, on our, um, our registration. Uh, another interesting area is when you and I hear the word trademark and then registration, what I first thought was, uh, kind of at the beginning stages several years back is an organization that if you're, you know, you would be registered first, right? So you're going to register for uh, you know, car insurance, for driver's license, and you can you know, register for uh, my, my daughter's uh, soccer uh, program or ballet or, or, or those types of things. But that's not the case when it comes to, you know, we talk about patent and, and, and trademark. Whereas the TM for trademark, you can actually use that on, on day one. Uh, and, and so you'll see logos and, and names of organizations that have that TM, uh, meaning it's, it's trademark. But that doesn't necessarily mean that they are registered with the Patent and Trade Office, which again, that, that's the more official way of, of, of going through uh, things. And so you start as a trademark organization or brand, and then you, if you want to, then you can get to the spot where you want to be you know, registered. And so again, from a you know, step one and a step two, step one would be a TM for trademark, and step two would be the, the R, the circle around it. So uh, the last part on, on this topic is this also helps from a, a legal standpoint where uh, if an organization or an individual uh, tries to impersonate our organization by putting you know, uh, faulty material or things that are not, not correct coming from our organization uh, and misleading individuals, uh, we're able uh, from the legal protections being re registered uh, with the United States Patent and Trade Office, they were able to legally go uh, after an individual. So uh, you know, that can hurt, let's say, you have a brand and a brand's worth a million dollars and an individual or an organization comes by and they try to, again, mislead uh, customers, prospects, uh, vendors, and that net worth or that brand equity that would be $1 million would be potentially reduced uh, because they're taking what would be a high quality, high performing organization and you'd be taking basically money uh, uh, away from it and saying here's where we are a tip top shape but then if you know negative events come out then our value goes down. Positive events come up, our value goes, goes up. So that's really how, uh, how this co comes about. And so we're very, very excited uh, with uh, being able to you know, film uh, our episode today uh, is that literally I, uh, we received this, uh, this confirmation yesterday. And so I wanted to uh, put that uh, in, in, our, uh, in our show for today. Secondly, going along with the registration, one of the areas that we are fully protected uh, against is, you know, puzzles, coloring, uh, workshops, uh, books, et cetera. And so what we decided to do was um, it, adult coloring books are uh, and have been a, a thing, uh, something that uh, individuals that you don't have to be a you know, child growing up to want to color or, or, or the like. And I learned this through my, uh, my therapy uh, when I was kind of at the, at the bottom end was, you know, taking time to do things that can take that energy uh, or stress 
away from the brain of like constantly thinking, I gotta do this, I gotta do this next, I gotta do this third. And so naturally we started to think about what things could we start to offer to the, to the community. Uh, and one of those areas is uh, adult coloring uh, pages. So at current state, we have three different uh, adult coloring pages, uh, everything you know, from I am safe, I am okay, I am at peace, uh, you know, ballerina, uh, the, uh, yeah, just very peaceful and, and uh, you know, the sun and, and, uh, and uh, the, the trees and, you know, ha holding the heart and, you know, saying bravo that we, we should, uh, you know, take things that we do and, and celebrate the, those, those wins. Uh, you know, A plus. Uh, an award, and, and so that, that's kind of the, the first one. The second one is variations. We have a little bit more, you know, the music, so harmonica, a, a trumpet, uh, an easel art, uh, you know, flowers, crayons, uh, celebrating, love, doves, you know, peace. Uh, and so that would be the second. And then our, our third is, you know, celebrate voices. Everybody has a, has a voice. You know, dream, inspiration, self-care. And so we have, you know, love and in, in the, uh, uh, the sign language interpretation. Uh, you know, guitar, uh, piano, flowers, drums, uh, you know, calm, butterflies, you know, wheelchair, hug. And, and so we, we thought that that would be uh, an area that would be of interest to some some individuals and we've had great uh, great feedback on that and so right now we do have three pages available on our, our, our website um, and we're going to be growing that so if you or somebody you know is interested uh, we have with love calm and self-care in mind we have uh, three adult coloring pages will bring you a stress-free activity into your home uh, so for the set of three uh, we have that listed at 695, and you can reach that by uh, headed to our voicesforvoices.org uh, site, go to shop, and then you'll, you'll find that. Or you can follow through this, uh, this QR code uh, that will take you directly to, to, to that spot. Okay, moving on. Uh, I, as Many, uh, many of you know, and if you're uh, a, a new, uh, new listener, a new, uh, a new viewer, uh, you know, I'm going through active you know, mental health, mental illness recovery myself. So again, I'm not just a host, I'm going through that m myself. And so this next area I, I wanted to cover for quite a bit of time, and now is a perfect time to, to cover that. Uh, when when I speak and I, I talk to individuals, uh, sometimes you know, people will say, oh, well, you know, you're doing good or you're doing great and you know, things are easy for you and you, you know, you're, you, know, you, you made it out of kind of the depths of you know, the, the darkness. Uh, and what I try to respond to is, I am on an active recovery. There are days that are good, there are days that aren't as good, so there are days where the depression and you know, kind of wanting just to hang out at the house and, and do very little as far as activity-wise, uh, that, that comes. Uh, and then also with that is medication. So obviously we're talking about the legal you know, medication uh, that uh, for me uh, and, and, and you possibly, uh, a doctor, a psychiatrist in the, in the uh, you know, specific tie to kind of the mental health side of things uh, is being prescribed certain certain medications. You may have one prescription, you may have three or four, uh, but the, the number doesn't doesn't matter. Uh, so what I'm talking about here is you notice. Uh, let's say you have one. Let's say you have uh, one medication. That, that you take every day, and you've been taking it for you know six, seven years. You know, every day, same dose, 
Um, they have gone up and down at, at different times. And you realize you need a refill, right? So uh, if, if you're like I am, uh, you know, I have to call my uh, you know, psychiatrist's office. Uh, if I'm not already going to be meeting with them in, in those three days, if I have three, uh, three uh, doses left, uh, to have a refill sent into the pharmacy. And so I'm talking about, you know, it could be if it's a mail-away pharmacy, and those are usually done at 90-day supplies, and it, the same uh, process happens, but if you're at three days to try to get a 90-day supply in three days, it's probably going to be tough, so you'd want to start that process a little bit sooner. So what I've run into... Again, in my active recovery, uh, say the last, uh, I'm really starting to notice it, the last year especially, is when it comes time to have that, that prescription refilled. So uh, three days left, call my psychiatrist and have her uh, call in a, you know, a refill and a prescription, because it's a continuous uh, one. And... So it gets called in, and then I received that text message. And text message says, you know, your provider has sent in uh, a request for a refill for you know, XYZ medication. Uh, we'll let you know when it's available for pickup. And then I received other texts that would say, we're currently out of this, this particular medication or this particular uh, uh, dosage. So what I mean by that is maybe you're taking, let's just say, five milligrams of a particular medication, and let's say that the pharmacy only has two and a half milligram or one milligram uh, doses or dosages, uh, and so they're not going to be able to fill at what the doctor has prescribed. And so although, yeah, you could take five, one milligram doses, doses to make, you know, one for the five, uh, you, or I guess talk about me and, and as an example, uh, what a pharmacist is not able to do apparently is they're not able to fill it that way. So although it would make sense that, okay, if you're out, if, uh, you know, say CVS is out of, five milligram, but they have the one milligram, so yeah, they could you know, do five per day times however many days, if it's a 30-day supply, you know, just multiply that out. Uh, and so this can happen where, let's say, you know, we, we can run out of medication on a, a Monday, a Tuesday, a Saturday, a Sunday, a holiday. Uh, you know, those things usually, you know, life goes on. Uh, it, Things are, you know, 24-7. If we're running out, we, we, we need a refill. Uh, and so I've been in the position where, you know, those three days go by. In this case, the CVS, for me, uh, says, well, you know, we're out of it. We can't, we can't get you any, any more right now until we, you know, we get another shipment in. Well, they don't know when the shipment's coming in. So here you are, or I am in this case, going, oh, crap, what? What do I do? I've been taking this medication for seven years. For me, uh, maybe it's a year, maybe it's 10 years, maybe it's uh, six months for, for you. Uh, and I'm not going to be able to get that refill in, in time. You know, what am I going to do? So you take the condition that I'm already in with the depression, the anxiety, et cetera, and that anxiety just skyrockets and that stress skyrockets uh, because I'm like, how am I going to go a day without it? So an option that some pharmacists have and some are more helpful than others, I'll just say it that way, is uh, sometimes uh, pharmacists are able to uh, provide you know, a day or two uh, kind of get through doses to get through. Uh, meaning if, if the truck isn't gonna come for three days and you need, uh, you need that prescription for those three days, uh, the pharmacist might give a three days supply just to get you, get you or I through to, to that point. So, again, some pharmacists I've had that will do that and others won't. And they'll say, nope, it has to come from the provider and we don't have this specific dose in mind. Uh, and, 
And so here is, you know, somebody like me trying to just continue my, my care, uh, trying to just keep things as simple as possible and, and kind of follow kind of the regimen I've, I've been on. Uh, so again, that stress skyrockets. Uh, and it got so bad over Easter for me, uh, this, this past Easter where I, I had run out and it's Easter Sunday and I was like, well, what do I, what do I do? Um, and so my CVS that I go to was out. But somehow, some way, they were able to go through the computer and the CVS in a different location had the right amount and the right dosage. And so they were able, they being the pharmacy, was able to switch that prescription for that one time over to that, that second location. And so then uh, I was able to pick up that, that prescription and not miss a day. Uh, so I'm going through the, this whole story, you know, this you know, eight, ten minute uh, uh, portion of the, this show uh, to, to share that you know, I still have to jump through hoops at times to uh, get kind of what we, we, what we need, what we, what we feel has been working. Uh, and my provider, she's been great where she'll you know, make calls after hours to double check. Um, you know, she'll send you know, a, a prescription in, and sometimes the pharmacy won't, uh, maybe they won't understand uh, what the, how the dosage is meant to be, and, and, and that's happened where there's been all this back and forth that I can't do anything about as an individual, that it's on the doctor level. Uh, and, and so when I talk about having a team, uh, you know, having you know, family, friends, uh, care, uh, doctor, therapist, having those individuals on your side and on my side is very helpful and it's crucial uh, because if I don't, then that one area could slip through the cracks for a day or two and, and that may put me into uh, a, you know, like a, a worse depression. Uh, uh, scenario, and you know we don't we don't want that for anybody. Uh, so, the moral of this story is to continue fighting for what what you what you deserve. When you're talking with with your doctors, if if you feel they're not being your advocate, you're able to switch doctors, find a doctor, find a therapist that is your advocate, find a a, a, uh, a pharmacist, a pharmacy that will help in those times. Uh, you know, I, I don't like having to ask for a three-day supply or, or a two-day supply, but again, at, it's not my fault either that the truck hasn't come in with that particular dosage uh, amount. Uh, so think about that, and if you ever come into that situation, uh, don't, don't be afraid to ask uh, to have that prescription or prescriptions uh, for that one time that you need filled to see if they, they're able to fill it at a different location. And that was a big lifesaver. Again, that was on Easter. Uh, and, and so some locations, some retail uh, locations just aren't open, right? Different holidays come, come by. And so they're just not, they're not open. And, uh, and so take that upon yourself. Have that courage. Have that confidence in, in yourself. Uh, and, and again, those things still test me to, to this day. Uh, and so be your advocate, because nobody will be your advocate if they don't see that you're your, your own advocate. So by you and I just going forward, uh, and if we need to speak to somebody, if, if medication is something that, that we need, uh, just figuring out the, those things uh, is helpful. Uh, and I know definitely for me, if I'm traveling, right, uh, it, making sure I have enough for the days that I'm traveling. So if I go on a four-day trip or a three-day or a two-week trip, I need to make sure that I have enough for those, those days so I'm not going to run out in the middle of a trip when if I'm outside of the country uh, and, and be wondering if I'm going to be able to get a, a refill in, a, again, a foreign country that I'm not uh, as comfortable and uh, knowing of the, the, the actual, uh, the processes of, of getting a, a prescription uh, there. Uh, and so I've run into that as well, where I'm running out, whereas I have 
a day or a week extra supply, but since I won't be out of the country, I need a prescription filled earlier than what normal would, would be. And so that's where, again, uh, having an advocate, uh, your doctor, your psychiatrist, your family health provider, um, and your therapist and can also can, can help in, in that regards. And so that, that's happened as well, where I you know, got my you know, container, a medication container for each of the days, and like, okay, well, I'm gonna be gone 14 days. Uh, let, me, uh, let me get an extra day or two in case my flight gets canceled, I get stranded in a, in a, somewhere, and I need an extra day or two. So that's usually what I do, is I usually add a, a couple days uh, just, in, just in case. Worst case scenario, I need that and I have it. Best case scenario, I come home and I have, uh, have those medications are already laid out for two, two additional days. Um, and so there's, just a, there's a lot of planning uh, that, again, yeah, we're not talking that it's very difficult in the sense that we gotta do these big calculations. Uh, but we just need to think a little bit further in advance than what we may have before. So instead of just worrying, do I have enough for today? If I'm going on a trip for 14 days, I need to, let's say, have en enough for 16 days. Again, in, in case uh, flight gets canceled, bad weather happens, uh, you know, things outside of our, our control. Uh, and if you do those things, those are things that a uh, uh, I've learned, you know, over the, the last seven years that can be, can be helpful. So to recap this episode, uh, Voices for Voices, uh, we have been and we're continuing to be a legit organization. We are registered officially with the United States Patent and Trade Office. Uh, so uh, be on the, that out, the, the, the look when uh, you see our logo, you'll start as, as time goes on and start seeing the R with the circle around it, uh, be more uh, included with our, uh, our logos and our, our branding materials. Uh, we, again, also have uh, the adult coloring pages. We have, at this point, we have three for $6.95. Uh, you can head over to voicesforvoices.org, uh, go over to the, the shop uh, uh, area of the top right of, of the, uh, our landing page, and you'll be able to find that there, or you can uh, scan this QR code uh, that we're showing now, and be an advocate for yourself. So until next time, I am your host, Justin Allen Hayes, founder and executive director of Voices for Voices, and please be a voice for you or somebody in need.